My name's Virginia Berridge and I'm Professor of History at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, uh, University of London. Uh, my book's called Demons Are Changing Attitudes to Drugs, Alcohol and Tobacco. Um, the book's really about um, the, partly deriving from the current debate about the need to have a more rational uh, attitude across the substances. Um, some people have argued um, that illicit drugs are perhaps only as harmful as or less harmful than substances such as alcohol and tobacco which are much less strictly regulated and are widely used in society. Um, and what I'm trying to do in this book is to look at why the substances came to be uh, viewed and regulated and perceived in different ways. Um, I go back to, uh, the book starts in the early years of the 19th century, um, and it takes the story uh, right up almost to the present day. Some of the factors which I talk about as operating in the 19th and early 20th century have also come into play uh, in, in recent times. Social movements, for example, we had temperance in the 19th century, we had the anti-opium movement. Now we have a very strong anti-tobacco movement, it's an international, a global movement. Um, we also have an international harm reduction movement um, in relation to uh, drug use. So in a way the uh, the positioning of social movements has changed. Uh, the anti-tobacco movement is now much more focused on, on restriction. Uh, it's much more like the anti-opium movement or the temperance movement of the 19th century. 